Hello everybody, my name's Ella and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my first current household. Now I play The Sims a lot because I, you know, am anti-social trash, so it's fine. <laughs> um, so I've been playing with this family um, since When, sorry, start of when City Living was first released. And basically, I think most of this video is just going to be me explaining and gushing about how proud I am of myself for sticking with one family for so long. Because <laughs> I tend to jump between families a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. I just kind of usually get bored playing with just one family. And this video might be just a little bit longer just because I want to get through everything and I have a lot of generations at this point. I didn't originally have it to be a legacy challenge, but it turned into a legacy challenge. Well, not challenge, but it turned into the longest I've ever had Sims for. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the reason I have it set up at um, San Maishun. Oh, my mother's home. <laughs> Uh, I could just hear the uh, garage door opening, and I'm like, oh, they're gonna hear me talking to myself. Don't think I'm crazy. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, um, we're just basically gonna go and look through some of my um, homes. And I'll explain the history before, eh, maybe, what should I do? What should we do? Uh, uh. Alright, maybe... Let's look through here. Wow, there's a lot of Whitmore. Um, Whitmore, 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 Whitmore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah, no, no, I'm not going to bother. Um, <laughs> so let's just go into my current household. Yeah, no, I've been playing this household for a long time, and I'm so proud of them. They are like my children, and oh my god. So I'm looking to get maybe you guys to follow try and get to the m amount of passion I am towards this family into one of my Let's Plays, and we'll just see if we can have some longevity in that. But, yeah. This is, uh, this is uh, just looking at a looking at a thing. I'm doing some pre-recording right now, just because I'm going to be away pretty soon. Um, away from The Sims. I, I mean, I really don't know, but I just want to have it prepared in case I don't take my laptop with my Because <laughs> I do sim on a lap, like on a gaming laptop right now, so that's why the clickety clickety. Oh my god! Play, play with your child. Sorry, this is like the cutest thing in the entire world. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta get, like, uh, just for a while we're, oh my god, that is, oh my god, that's so cute. That is so cute. I take a lot of screenshots. <laughs> um, alright. Now, are you ready for this? I don't think you are. Now, you think this is the all of the genealogy, but you would be wrong. Nope, that's not. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There's been some, like, generations who've just had so many kids, and I'm just like, oh my god, you guys. So yeah, um, let's go through this, depending. Yeah, I got still, I still got time. Ow, I just cracked my hip. Ow! <laughs> I sit really weird in my chair, so, you know. Let's just get up all close in your business. That sounded really strange. So I started with Vivian. Vivian. So I started with Vivian Spart. Well, no, I didn't really start with her. That was just her mother. So really, Erin was the person I started this 
whole thing with now if you'll notice it is sparks and that's not because we have lost the um, sparks throughout the thing oh wait no it's because oh my god oh I thought I named you Riley and I was like oh no it's because of something that happened so Erin was a social media and she was in the social media career she's an internet personality I think or something like that and she was living with her best friend Riley Rollins so her and Riley were best friends but Erin was kind of a free spirit who hopped from guy to guy and she was not always the best um, at keeping with her responsibilities so when she discovered she was pregnant with Jake by Jay. Uh, now, all right. <laughs> I don't want to mispronounce his name, so I've just been referring to him as Jay. So, yeah. <laughs> so she and Jay started dating. Well, not dating, but they were they weren't really exclusive at that point. But they were dating, and she fell pregnant with Jake. And he was really like, no, you can't, you know, get rid of it. Um, and also, The Sims doesn't let you do that, or else I would have just deleted the baby. <laughs> and said, oh no, it died. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a sick and twisted human. What is wrong with me? Um, uh, yeah, but no. Uh, she had Jake, and then she basically dumped Jake at her friend Riley's house. Now, Riley isn't in the genealogy, which I'm really upset about because she did have um, her own kind of um, family tree that I would have loved to see, but I don't know. Um, she's, like, long gone now, so I can't go back and get her. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, Jake. They, ha they had Jake, and then only maybe... Two years later, she had Ronan. They were basically the same age, and they got along really well together. Um, and they were like best friends. And then, she also dropped Ronan off at her best friend Riley's house, along with Jake. Riley hadn't seen Aaron since she dropped off Jake and said, Hey, can you watch him for a bit? A bit turned into about two years. Then she, at that point, she had moved in with Jay. Then she had another baby. Ronan dropped him off saying she wanted him to be with his brother, who was basically Riley's son at that point. So that's why Jake has Rollins as his last name. But Ronan sparks because he still loved his mom because he was too young to actually remember her doing anything and she was still around for Ronan's childhood but just wasn't always there she wasn't completely not there out of the picture like she was with Jake but she was just not there with Ronan so then she and Jay completely split off they had a big fight and Jay tried to get in touch with his sons. They ended up having a good relationship in the end, all three of them. It was fantastic. Now, who is this? Oh, 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 who is, eh? Who is this, you might ask? Well, this is Lila. Now, Lila is the daughter of Selene and Aaron. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it, so, meh. <laughs> Selene and Aaron ended up falling in love, and they lived out their days together. They did end up having Lila, and Lila ended up later going and living with Jake. Because, again, her parents couldn't support her, but she still had a great relationship with her father. But again, not with her mother. Nobody liked her mom, honestly. But she was really wanting to be like her, but she never got that love and affection. Because she really wasn't the best mother figure. Um, anyway, so she ended up moving in with Jake. And 
Jake, as a matter of fact, was married to, oh, phone, get out of here, was in fact married to Colin, this is Colin, um, Jake and Colin got, were best friends as teenagers and then ended up getting married after Jake's long coming out period. So they had a lot of kids. <laughs> um, well, actually, I was meaning to make them not related, but they I never got around to it. So Macy and were born first. No. Nope. <laughs> Desmond and Kelsey were born first, and then they gave them away to these couple that was adopting the Huntman, Hunt, Huntson family, and then they had Macy and Anne for their sister, their half sister. No, they had Macy and Anne and just gave them up for adoption. Never saw them again. <laughs> then they had their first real child, Scarlett. Oh, right, uh, he was a national leader in the business career, and he was in the music career. He, uh, he was in the entertainment career, music-wise. Uh, oh my god, what, how many generations? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm at seven, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got excited. Um, yeah, so, they had Scarlet, and then they had Whitley, and then they adopted Philip. So, Philip has just recently died, and I'm not okay with that generation ending. Like, I'm not okay with Daniel and Daniel dying, and I'm so upset about him. And I didn't know for the longest time, and I got so upset when I found out. <laughs> um, anyway, so Scarlett, wanted, she was the biggest geek... And she married this guy, and I can't remember his name, because he died. The day that she gave, uh, she was just out of college, and the day that she gave birth to Daniel, she, her husband was tragically murdered. Yeah, that got dark. I say murdered, but honestly, I just starved him. But... <laughs> We'll just go murder for the sake of storyline purposes. So, um, he was murdered, and she was all alone. And then eventually, she met Emerson. I love Emerson so much. Her and Emerson, Emerson moved in together. They were both in the tech... She was in the tech guru, and he was in the biz... Hold up. Hold up. He was in the business... Yes, he was in the business career. Um, and they have their other son, Travis, who is Daniel's half-brother. Bro half so Daniel is a kid that Scarlett and this other guy, I think his name was Noah, we'll just go with Noah, had. Um, and he really wanted to be a police officer, so he could stop. So anybody, so no child would have to go through anything like he did as a child of losing a father. So he became, he went into the... Detective career, and he is now he died the chief. Um, I'm really interested in people's careers, so I played a lot with this generation, this generation right here. So that's why I was really upset to see Daniel go. Daniel go. <laughs> um, then Daniel had Harper. Then Daniel met Nico. Nico has a sister named Hey. Oh my god, Hayden's Oh my god! No! Oh, Hayden! I'm sorry, I'm getting so emotional about knowing since it passed away. I know. Well, boo! So, Hayden. No, not Hayden. Nico and Daniel had been friends as children because. Scar ah! Phone! What? No. You know what? You know what? No. I, no. 
Um, so Daniel and Nico were best friends as children because their parents were best friends um, later on in life, obviously. But yeah. And so, all right. <laughs> I have a lot of gayness in this. So if you don't like that, then I'm recording, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> um, so Daniel and Nico ended up getting married, and Nico was a comedian. Daniel was chief of police. Then they had their first child. They had their twins, Harper and Blair. Now, some people took... Now, what, what are you wearing, Robin? <laughs> Stop. I think he, oh, he's a tourist right now. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got... Oh, no, no. Um... They had their twins, Blair and Harper, um, and then they had their son, Robin, who got married to his wife, Linda, and has three children now, um, and then their other daughter, Blair, got married to Spencer, and they do have two children, but um, Harper surrogated for them, so Ryder and Jordan are their, are their son. So, yeah. <laughs> now, um, Harper got married to her childhood friend, Dominic. You see, there's a lot of people getting married to their childhood friends, and I'm, yeah. <laughs> got her, to her childhood best friend, Dominic, and they are both went into the astronaut career. They are both very, very, very smart. She's a painter, and he's a mixologist, by the way. Um, then they had their first child, Griffin, their second child, Miles, then they had, that. then she surrogated for them, Ryder and Jordan, and then they had Catherine and Stephanie right as I was moving out of the house. So, yeah. Um, Miles, I don't think I did anything with you, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, oh my god, is one of your grandparents still alive? <gasps> I killed off that mother because I really didn't like her and I wanted some inheritance for them. So, you know, I don't cheat. I just have, I just murder. <laughs> oh my god, that's, oh my god. That's not, stop, Ella. Anyway, um, uh, Griffin is now who we're playing with. And I will go more into detail with him. So, Griffin was always a good child. Like, he's such a good person. Com he's just such a good person. Oh my god, stop. Um, and he now, he finally has what he wants most in the world. And he wanted a family of, he wanted to have a kid. He, his goal since he was a teenager was to be a super parent. And, yeah, it was, it was just the most amazing thing. Um, he really took care of his siblings while his parents were at work. Because they worked a lot. Um, so, yeah, he's had more of an interesting relation, thing relationship-wise, because I wanted him not to just have the same as everybody else. So, he moved out, and he was living with Alexander Goth, um, who I, I recreated the Goth family because I wanted the Goths fight me. Um, he moved in with his best, his, his uh, friend Alexander, his other friend Jenny, his acquaintance Tracy, they don't really have a relationship anymore, and... And the and Alexander's friend Penelope. Now I just went over Penelope, and you can see she's a fledgling. I will get into that. Oh my God, who's Haley? 
Oh, she's a cut. Oh, <laughs> I should know this. Wow, you know a lot of dead Sims. Whoa. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so they all moved in together. Miles and him are like, oh, they're just such, such great friends. So, yeah. <laughs> they were best friends until he became best friends with... Um, Sarah, which I should probably not have that, <laughs> because, no. Um, so yeah, he, then, Alexander and Penelope ended up getting, like, together, and they moved out, and then Tracy just moved out on her own. We don't really, I don't know where she is right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Tracy and Miles get married, because I love them. <laughs> then Jenny and her spouse, and Jenny met her girlfriend, Amber, and then ended up, they ended up moving in with her sister, who had just moved back to San Myshuno after being away for a long time. Um, and she's currently pregnant, and I'm just so happy with it. Like, oh my god. I think she's pregnant, or she might have already had the baby. Oh, we sh I should go into that house and check. I might make this a longer video because I need to go through a bunch of stuff and I do want to play a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. They all ended up moving out and he was like, well, I gotta move somewhere smaller. So he moved in and got a roommate named Sarah. Now, Sarah has some interesting background. She was a master vampire. Her parents were like the head honchos of the vampire world. And she just wanted to be human. Uh, so she moved out to San Myshuno by herself. Uh, she used to have this long, dark, beautiful hair. Completely different from what you see her in this picture right here. But she had to change her complete appearance after she stopped being a vampire because she finally found the cure to vampirism and was like, oh, gotta go. Peace out, suckers. So, yeah, she turned into this human and she was like a completely different person. They're still friends, but he was totally in love with this woman. He wanted to spend the rest of his life. He risked his life to save her from this eternal torture. And then she just up and left and was like, peace out, gotta go, son. And that, like, that was cr soul crushing to him. So he moved back home for a little bit. And then he moved back out to Sa uh, San Myjuno. And found another roommate, Rose. Oh, what's what was her parent? Oh, I got it. Anderson. Sorry, <laughs> I I had to check because I changed her name to Aunt, to Rollins. Rose Anderson. Now Rose was almost exactly like him. They he felt like they were soulmates. He was he's a genius, family oriented, and a goofball. And Rose is a goofball, a geek, family-oriented. They just wanted all the same things in life. He found, like, he he thought, he, he was like, oh my god, I found my other half. And that was Rose. So Rose and him started talking, and they were friends for a long time. Like, she didn't want anything to do with him because her parents really thought she should go out and find a husband to take care of her. But no, she wanted to do um, her own job before she settled down to anything. So she became a charity icon. She is part of the political career in the charity organizer part. Oh no, I don't eat. No, don't eat breakfast. Sorry. <laughs> and he was in the business career. He's They're both at 10 right now. So I've had them take the elixir of life once, both together, 
I like, and then I reset everybody's ages, so it wasn't just, well, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do that, I'm lying, that's bad. I made them have a longer lifespan, and then I just shortened it back, so they've only, so now they're longer. They've only got, they've got 11 days, and she has 13. Oh, oh, right, because she's pregnant. Mmm! And she's going to be pregnant a lot more. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, whoops. Did I say something? Um, but, yeah. No, he's got some good charisma and logic skills. Um, where was I? Right. Um, so, anyway, they ended up started dating. And then they just fell hard and fast for each other. And soon enough, he was proposing. They were getting married. And... No, my timer's up. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> they fell in love, they got married, and, you know, they started living in a bigger place in San Myshuno, which is this one. I'll give you a tour later. This is gonna be a long video, oh no. <laughs> and not much gameplay, I'm very sorry. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they were, they're, they're so much in love. They're soulmates. Two sims, one heart. Oh my god, that's, that represents them. They're soulmate, just friends. No. <laughs> um, but no, they're like the same thing. And then she discovers she's pregnant with Tori. Now, oh no, baby girl! I'm sorry, I have to take care of this child first. Um, give food to Tori. That might be a good idea. Let's give you some peas, honey. Um, stop playing with her. Like, you need, you need to feed your child. Um, then they had Tori, and Tori is just a little angel literal angel. It's like she has come from heaven to make their lives perfect. Now, this isn't her regular wear like Rose. She's actually very, very proper and poised and everything, but she's um, currently wearing her lounging around the house attire. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what shall we have for dinner, my dudes? Um. Ah, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> uh. Where was I? Right. Um. So yeah, they fell in love, and then they had Tori, and that is where we're at right now. I'm, I think I'm going to give you a little house tour first. And then we'll play a little bit, and then I think that'll be all. Here is where they are. They're in this building in the uh, fashion district. Um, I don't know. Are you still? Oh my god, you're young adults! <gasps> oh no, you young adults. Oh no, I need. To okay, yeah, I gotta get you married. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's have you come in from right here. So, you're coming, you come in, and it's, it's this apartment, and I definitely redecorated it. I actually had my first two sims living in this for the first time, so this is real, whoa, trippiness. I have a lot of paintings up here, because she, she is a very good painter, Rose is. Anyway, you come in through here. And let's start with there. Uh, and then you come in. And here's the dining room. I love the dining room so much. Um, then you come in and here's this beautiful, beautiful living room. And I want to live here. <laughs> um, great kitchen as well. Has some, you know, writing and such. Good appliances. Come in here and it's just like this little 
corner. <laughs> um, and then here is the bathroom. I love this separation thing. So even if you have like two kids, one can have a shower at the same time as the other one's peeing. I, I love this wall separation thing. I love it. Then this is little Tori's room. It is so cute. I like what I did with the pictures. Oh, I like what I did with the pictures here. And this is her wall and outlook onto the city. And she, I don't know how long we're going to keep living here, but I haven't put anything there. And that's her little night like in bed. And oh, it's so cute. I, I just finished furnishing this. Or a bunch of toys and ooh. oh and this is my favorite thing my favorite custom content thing I've ever had this they're the their baby sonograms and oh my god I love them uh but yeah and then all our toys and ooh sorry <laughs> it's just so cute this is their workout room because they're both pretty active sims and this is their room oh it's so cute He has pictures with, that's with Rose, and that's with, hold on, let me see. Rose, that's the first their relationship, and that's with Sarah. Uh, um, but yeah, that's their bedroom. I just, oh, we also just redid this. Here's another baby sonogram picture. Um, and yeah, it's, oh my god, I just love this room so much. And then here's their little bathroom right here. But yeah, uh, let's just start playing with them a little bit, alright? Uh, just a few more minutes. This is going to turn into a really long part, isn't it? <laughs> alright, stop. Um, what do we have for, let's make some dinner. How about that? Rose, oh my god. Why am I talking like this? Oh my god, I almost stop. Um, I'm just gonna have you throw out that salad. I don't know how much this is. Oh yeah, we have enough for a couple more days. Um, now, let's have you cook something. <sighs> let's have you... Um, I got this sim off the gallery, um, changed her name a bit, and then, but she has, like, full skill on everything, because I didn't want to deal with all the rest of it. So maybe I'll have you make, well, let's have you do that. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna have party size as well, because I, yeah. <laughs> Now, are you eating it? What are you doing? Now, come here and change into your lounging around the house attire. He used to wear glasses, but then Sarah came along and was like, nah, <laughs> you can't wear glasses. It's a sign of weakness to my family, and then he stopped. Oh, let's have you play some video games. Play online with... Who are we playing? Who should we play with? Who shall we... Oh, let's play with Miles. And Alexander. And... Jenny? No. Um, let's play... With Catherine. No, not... No, not Catherine. Um... Ah, <laughs> Let's play with Jenny. Yeah, sure, Jenny. Let's have you guys play together. Oh, you need to... Oh, poor baby. Ah. Uh, that's... I love this huge TV, and I want it. Um, what are we doing over here? Oh, you're making that. Making some food. Daddy's playing video games, and Mommy's making food. Now, hold up. I need to know if you've had your bebés yet. Jenny. Jenny. I'm gonna drink something right now, just pointing that out. 
it's so hot here right now. Like, I'm, I'm pre-filming a few videos. I don't know if I've said this already, but yeah. We'll check in with Jenny and then we'll wait for them to go to sleep and then I think I'll end it there. I gotta get up and grab some things. Hold up. Um. No, but yeah, I think once they go to sleep, we will cut off. Now, buddy, I think we need to have some people move out of here. Wait, what? Jenny, are you not? Ah. Um, oh my god, are you not pregnant? Oh, my game crashed a little while ago, and I was so upset about it. And, you know... Who can I have you move in with? Who would be nice for you to live with? How about you go and live with that guy? You'll go live in that with that guy. Now, I know, I don't, oh my god. You guys not pregnant yet? Well, we will change this. I think I'm gonna, you guys can come and watch me impregnate my... make my sims a baby-licious, so, um, yeah, so I'm kind of already setting up my child's life, like, I'm kind of already setting up Tori's life, but I'm low-key gonna have, uh, Jenny and Amber's kid, like, <laughs> um, marry that, oh my god, you psychopath, Ella, why are you already... Planning your child's, you know, life. Um, well, you know, it's The Sims, so I can do what I want. I'm not gonna have... I really don't think I'm gonna have kids in real life, because... Ew. <laughs> I hate... I, I don't hate kids. I just strongly dislike children between the ages of... Um... I just strongly dislike children between the ages of like five and. Oh, wait, are you. Oh, you are pregnant, but I can't see it. What? What? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Um. <laughs> Alright, let's go testing. Cheats. On um Sims dot a no hold on I gotta look this up guys um oh my god Sims for pregnancy cheats I'm just gonna make sure because I've messed this up in the past because I know it's kind of a longer cheat. And I hate typing them in because like I can't copy and paste things into here and it makes me very upset. But yeah. Um This is weird. I'm still here, by the way. I'm just waiting for my other <laughs> That's weird, my other like my work computer, like my working on homework such computer to load, not my gaming one. Um here it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Sims. Dot, yeah, I was right. Sims. Dot add underscore buff. It's a double buff if you play Get to Work. Just a little warning there because it didn't work for the longest time for me, and I didn't know why. And now it does. Pretty excited. Underscore. I'm gonna put you in labor because I don't in labor because there we go. <laughs> okay, come come love your wife, please. 
Uh, feel with the baby and then, you know, um, kiss her. I'm gonna have you, I'm sorry, it's just, it's, I know this isn't even my, this isn't even my family. And also there's no, there's no babies, like room for babies, but I'm not gonna deal with that. You can do. Bassinet. Provided a complimentary, where? Where's the complimentary bassinet? Oh my God, there is three rooms. Oh, I did not know that for like the longest time in this apartment. They don't have the best relationship. Like, they, well, they do, but they just, you know, I kind of just was like, here, you guys be married. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, you should have the baby now. <laughs> have baby at hospital. Send, I'm just gonna send them alone because I don't want to go through another loading screen. I think we're probably just gonna end it here like after the baby's born. Oh my god! Game! Ah. Yes, that is an attractive attractive face, my dude. Attractive face. Okay. <laughs> it looked like I had just insulted her and she was like, hey, baby on the way, bud. Don't, you know, make fun of me. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna... You mean mac and cheese? Jealous. Uh, let's just speed on through here and let you have your baby. What are you gonna have? What are you gonna have? Is my sim gonna be a lesbian or- Oh, it's like a- Oh, yeah! That was- Oh my god, Ella, stop. What are we gonna do? Christina? No. Emily? No. Belle? No. Marcy? No. Uh, Marcy and Tor- Oh my god, Ashley? Emily? No. Carly? Katrina? Mmm. Mmm. Carly? Nah. Nah. Eh. 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 Nope. Nope. Nicola, and Alexis, ooh, okay, where's the baby, there you go baby, and you had your baby, good for you, um, cuddle, alright, that, you know, that's that, um, <laughs> Hope you guys liked this current household update. I know it was a little longer than most of my videos, but yeah. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this. And maybe I will make another um, current household update. And it'll actually be gameplay. My god. Um, but yeah, I was just really proud of this family and how many, li and how many generations. So don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the